All right, so a um, couple things. Well, a couple things that we got going on here today is that I have um, I have the parts for the air pump, um, but I want to take care. And uh, the other thing that I've gotten is an upgrade to me just holding on to my cell phone and, uh, and taking some pictures. So, um, yeah, so let's take care of that first and see if we can get some better video. So some things I need to do before doing anything else is I need to... take care of the water situation that I have currently. This Craftsman box right here. That's what we're gonna replace this with. So, um, yeah, I need to figure out the water situation. I should put that, this is all still good. I'll put those back in the containers that they had and then um, I'm going to move the compressor here and then also um, I don't know, do something with that. So one of the reasons why I wanted to get this kind of cleaned up is that whenever I want to pull the um, pull the laser out, you know, that I have this thing precariously um, on here. So what I want to do is take the um, take the box that I have and attach it, strap it up to the back of the back of the laser. Um, well, we'll see how that goes. inlet which is this one and the outlet which is this one um, this outlet what I'd like to do is to be able to um, attach it to this radiator and, uh, the radiator is sitting on here um, I have two fans for it to attach onto here um, so kind of wondering how that's gonna end up working out because Looking at this, I was just that the story didn't measure things. It's kind of sometimes the way it works. See to my pants, but um, the reason why I like this is because the handles on here um, lock this thing down, which is really nice. And luckily enough for me, <laughs> this just fits. So, um, yeah, so my thought here was that this bucket would go like this. And then I would toss a strap. That's what these kind of lockdown straps would be. So I would take a strap, put one up here, put one down here. But then now my water would be um, attached to the um, to the bottom of this, so that when I roll it around, when I have to get to the back of it, I don't have to worry about the water um, spilling or where I'm going to put it or what you know what's going to happen with it. It'll be um, right here. But now that leads me to another problem here, which is, um, what do I do with this air, um, air assist, or the, uh, radiator here? So, I want to put it on here and then find... having a problem like now I'd have a problem like opening this up and taking this off
and it's not going to get any air to it. I'm going to get a little bit of air because the other side is open. See, so the air could like kind of potentially come in here and then blow out that way. But I want to kind of maximize the air that I have for this system. Um, could mount it this way, but then I have this extra bit, although the extra bit <laughs> would actually not work out too bad because of the, um, of the tube thing that I have here. Could mount it on the top of the tube and have it sticking down. Kind of like the idea of this being self-contained. If I have it horizontally, um, you know, then it has more potential to catch dirt and dust. If I have it mounted vertically, then at least you know, dirt and dust wouldn't necessarily um, hang out there. Could get this and hang it, hang it over. Have um, have like a strap here on this side. That would give me plenty of air and keep this area open. Um, why do I want to keep this area open? Uh, well, one, I want to put up. Um, I'd like to put my computer kind of like in this space when it's over in there. So. Hmm. Maybe this might be the best route. Having a strap come over, hold it here and here. That can go under and just kind of hang there. And then if I if I end up knocking it or whatever, it's not going to be a huge deal. It won't bust off because it'll just be hanging there. I kind of like that. And then we'll have the tubes going into here. Power going out to there. Okay, I think that might be I think that might be the plan. So I need some straps. So in my box of screws, so in my box that I have um, random screws, uh, bolts, and things like that, uh, I found four bolts that will fit into the top part here at least this is the plan um, these fit they're a little long you don't want to keep screwing into this because then it will um, it will mess up the radiator so I need to, to get them in there deep enough so that they'll hold um, but I want to kind of tighten down the strap a little bit so it's not just flopping around uh, so what I will need to do is I'll need to um, cut these down because this is all I have and so we'll cut one down and see how that goes um, the other thing that I have here is this um, uh, is this I don't know, strap <laughs> that uh, I use to um, keep the kids furniture and dressers from falling off the wall or you know toppling over on top of them like that's about to do um, and so just always keep, <laughs> keep extra parts around. So the plan is, is that we're going to take this and put that over here and then it's going to go up and over and then around to the back side where it's going to be folded over as well. And then another bolt going in there. Okay. Also wear safety, safety glasses and also... <laughs> Don't hold on to the part that you're trying to cut.
I ended up buying these um, fourth barb and then a fourth inch in. So these come up here. Like that. Um, some seal tape that you want to use whenever you're doing like gas pipes or water. Um, what this will do is help fill in the gaps of the threads so the water doesn't end up leaking out. You want to keep it as smooth as possible if you get any um, uh, if you get any folds in there it will um, mess things up. And the other thing that you want to do is when you put it on you want to put it on so that it um, it goes with the, the threads. So um, I'm going to be turning this, uh, you know, righty tighty or clockwise here. I'm going to be turning it this way. So what I want to do is I want to have when the tape um, gets wrapped around that the um, that the end of it is kind of facing and flopping over this way. That way, as I turn it, it's constantly kind of tightening that tape. So um, that can kind of just be thing to say or um, so if you, you know, if you're thinking about it you want to put the tape on here in the direction that you're going to be twisting it so if if you start with it right now I know it's going to be going clockwise so if I start with the tape going clockwise then as I finish wrapping it here um, and that's about as far as I want to go. You don't want to have a ton of tape on there. But as I go like that, and then you just pull real tight, and it's kind of self-holds. Um, the other thing you want to do is make sure that you clean up all of this area because you don't want to have um, you don't want to have a bunch of tape in there clogging things up. Okay, so you just kind of clean that out like so. Now, um, since we wrapped it this way and then pulled it around so the end is here, as I tighten it, it will kind of keep tightening. If you do it the other way, then it'll start unraveling as you, as you tighten it up. For the life of me, I can't find a wrench. So, um, I do have this kind of plumber's wrench and we're working with water, so why not? Um, the way that this works is that uh, as you tighten this way, it'll start to crank down, but the nice thing is, is that you can kind of flop it either way and you can kind of get into um, places that you might, nor not, might not normally be able to get into. And it also looks like I might not be able to get into here. So that is rather unfortunate. Now eventually what I want to do is, um, in between here, I want to be able to put a, um, uh, a flow uh, meter, just make sure that the that water is actually flowing through here, and it'll give me a little warning if it's not. So these have a little releasing mechanism to them, and so they ratchet, so you, uh, so you put the strap down in here, and then, uh, and then they just keep ratcheting. And then it will wind up. The other thing I realized that will help keep it from spinning here is that by tightening this top part, it locks it kind of firmly here. And then I just gave one more tight. And that looks like it's not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. So that is good. Uh, I had a drill. Um, I got these from Harbor Freight for like two bucks. And these are, um, Steel step bits, uh, steel step bits, and so we don't have steel, but what we do have is 
a nice lid. So what I want to do is I want to pull, push, put a hole in the lid. Um, that's going to be the same size as this tube, maybe a tiny bit smaller if possible. And just drill that down in and um, get that going. Um, these have little markings on them. Not sure if you can see it, but um, it tells you the sizes. So uh, right now I'm looking at seven sixteenths. So a couple ways that you can figure out what size you want to do is kind of hold your your hose behind here, and then just look and see if you can still see some of the hose. Um, then it needs to go a little bit further. And you know, once it starts to get covered up, then that's where it's going to be able to, to make the cut. So um, I'm looking at looks like if I do up to seven sixteenths, so I should have one, two, three, four, five. So I should have like five pops into this <clears throat> craftsman drill, craftsman. Um, lid in the summertime I think I'll work on getting the there we go in the summertime I'll work on the power for this That, that, this is garbage. So we need to just fill it up and see how it goes. So let's fill it up. So I'm not really sure where I stopped the recording. So hopefully you got to see all of the, the things I'll have to check in a bit. Um, but just to recap, um, I got this, uh, I got this strapped on not going to be able to move because it's tight up here so this is locked in I have my in and out out coming here uh, the in going over here we're still getting a little bit of bubbles it's running um, but now what I can do is I can move this around and not worry about where the um, where the water is going to be so now what we can do is we can take this Push it back into place, maybe. We can put that into place, and there we go. So, um, there it is, rocking and rolling. And so, I'll let you know if there's any changes or things that need to be done, but right now. I think that's done for the day. So thanks for following along. Don't forget to like and subscribe.